This is a sight to behold. Just have a look at the entire range, 360 degree view. Okay guys, good morning. Today is the last day of our Uttarakhand trip and uh, I'll start off with the nature trail in the Cordia forest. This is the same place in which we had the jungle safari on the first day but today I'm going to walk it out in this nature trail. Let's see if we can catch hold of some birds. Mm -hmm. Not really hopeful of spotting any animals other than the deers. But I'm just more interested in getting close to the nature and hopefully spot some good birds. In the jeep safari we spotted some college peasants and a few parakeets, nothing much. Uh, we assume we started off a bit too early and so we didn't see even deers. This is a nice coniferous forest. We'll have a look at it. Nice pine trees. Beautiful view. The sun is up. It's still a bit cold but bearable. I'll just walk you through this forest. It's just, it's directly opposite Club Mahindra Karnatal. Just as you step out of the club. So it's a good activity to do in the morning. You can do it unguided, pretty safe. Nothing to worry about in this forest. Some monkeys, maybe so. If you are having any food items, you would be wary of that. This is still in, in a bit of altitude, Karnatal. Hence, you will feel short of breath if you are not accustomed to it. Wow! Nice trail, beautiful backdrop of coniferous forest you can get some pine cones you can color them design them wonderful train I'm on my way alone Ashwik's mom and Ashwik has decided to rest for those who are not accustomed to this conditions it can be a bit gruesome especially the roads uh, for those who suffer from uh, motion sickness, surely the roads are a bit of worry. We had to take many puke stops, to, so to say, for the ladies and the kid. Uh, brilliant valley. Looks good. Would prefer this to the jungle safari the jungle safari open chip safari is very bumpy and uh, we didn't spot anything much other than some peasants and uh, parakeets the uh, the uh, viewpoint is good and you see the entire shivalik range the bandar puch peaks and kalanak peak Let's see if we can find some birds. I'll catch you on the other side. There is even an, another nature trail at Dhanolti that is in the eco park. Dhanolti, a few 15 kilometers from here. You can go for that also. It's locals say it is pretty much similar to this. The view is really nice and from here I can see the Shivalik mountain so Shivalik Himalayas is the outer part of the Himalayas 
the inner part is the Himadri Himalayas. Here I can see Bandarpuch and uh, Kalanak peaks. I'll try to provide you with the photos. Okay, I finally spotted some peasants. Unfortunately, they ran away, or should I say, skipped away as soon as they heard me. So I'm trying to be really quiet. Anyway, speaking here is a bit of an issue with the low oxygen concentration and the cold. Let's see if it, I can take some pics. See you. Nice sun kissed Machan. Have a look at the roof, jungle roof. Wow. These trees have adapted themselves to the snow. It does snow a lot here in December and January. Just some bird flew past. Couldn't identify it. Look at this view on the other side of the valley. This is the local hills opposite side of the shivalik range this these are the local hills not the mountain we'll try to take a detour here oh what a grand view of the shivalik range just have a look at this what a spot this is what a spot guys you have to see this spot to believe it amazing view I'll sh just show you around. I spotted a few birds, but just l have a look at this. Just have a look at this. Oh my God. That is the entire range. A 360 degree view completely free of cost. And I, I can only guess what the cost of this resort must be. Uh, there's a kite flying. What a view for this resort. I don't know which property it is, but st st stunning, absolutely stunning. Uh, these these peaks, I don't know whether if you can see in the GoPro, that is the Bandar Puch and Kalanag. Uh, I don't really know the names of the other peaks. I'll try to find and post it as a subtitle. This is a must visit place if you are at Kanatal. Just take this nature trail rather than the jungle safari. This is a sight to behold. Just have a look at the entire range. 360 degree view. This trail, nature trail is a must visit. You should do this. It's completely free. There is not even an entrance ticket. And it's much better than the jungle safari for sure. Just spotted some peasants again, but they are so difficult to catch on the cam. Really very nifty. And they just run away. You have to go into the in inner roads and not by the main road. But this view is spectacular this is what interests me more there are a few birds which i spotted some flycatcher and plenia ashy plenia very difficult to shoot and there is dew on the grass it's now a bit less less colder so the voice has cleared up the sun is out probably accustomed to the altitude as well just have a look at this the, these are the local hills and on the other side you have the himalayan range i walk a lonely road odia forest kanatal
nicely camouflage chirping around looks like some fly catchers just have a look at this guys right in the middle of this forest if you take the, such roads you will surely spot some birds uh, we can hear lots of birds chirping but it's very difficult to spot these small birds well camouflaged for want of time I'm not going to explore the entire forest but just have a look at this you're right in the middle of the forest there is no one here very peaceful I can hear some noises but unable to spot as everyone knows it's very difficult to spot animals you need lots of patience and time and a good eye to be honest I'm yet to develop that but this place is so good surely a must visit for the nature lovers you can hear them chirping very difficult to identify uh, this is a wonderful experience very peaceful unfortunately we have a written flight to catch so not much time to be spent uh, if you have a day or even a half a day you can easily spend in this nature trail beautiful wonderful nature trail something I spotted once again oh those big peasants peasants they just fly like it look at this look at this that was probably a trail <laughs> this is wonderful guys you should do this they are so difficult to spot and they are so nifty they are so agile they just run away I hope this GoPro has captured it oh. uh, probably quails something from the peasant family okay so my final words on the Uttarakhand journey a must visit place Kanatal is a completely offbeat destination from the conventional Uttarakhand points uh, it's very different more very close to nature uh, and uh, pretty cold uh, depends on the period in which you visit uh, it starts snowing uh, from the second half of December to up to January but overall it's a wonderful experience uh, the roads are good very good roads but just the nature of the roads the serpentine curves that's gonna cause a lot of problem for those who experience motion sickness and uh, altitude the oxygen concentration surely less again I have spotted something okay back from the interruption that that was a group of a flock of peasants once again they absolutely uh, surprise you uh, with their flutter very difficult to sh catch indeed very difficult to shoot them so uh, regarding the people in Uttarakhand yes few of them I didn't quite like but majority of them are very good with the tourists unlike in Sikkim almost 90 to 100 percent of them are good so food is also nice it's more of North Indian style uh, of course for a Mumbai curve bit on the spicy side as well but you need that in the school and uh, not much of Tibetan influence in the food you don't find that much of momos and all yes in few places but uh, the non which is good uh, chicken seems to be a bit expensive might be brought from somewhere else and uh, overall a wonderful experience it is indeed a bit demanding 
uh, as in physically challenging, uh, especially the serpentine roads and the altitude. But what a place, what a wonderful place. We'll love to visit it again. Do check out Kanatal, uh, the slightly offbeat destination. Uh, see you on uh, see you in another episode of the travel and food doctor do do like comment share and subscribe to my channel see ya